star born. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. And we are going to be talking about a lot of light in the sky because yesterday we had a full moon at 20 degrees of Scorpio. So if you've been looking on our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is On the Brink. And that is because you and everybody else in the world could be on the brink of making some sort of move or change. And because you are only on the brink, your considerations will have to be financial considerations before you decide what you're going to do. And that's because yesterday's wonderful full moon in Scorpio was at 20 degrees and we know that under a full moon the moon opposes the sun so the moon was at 20 degrees of Scorpio the sun was at 20 degrees of Taurus these are two fixed financial signs where the lights are and that is why you are going to have to take your financial situation into consideration if you are on the brink of making some sort of move to another location or maybe you want to do some remodeling or maybe you want to start up a business or make some sort of change which is going to cost money so you could be wondering how you're going to pay for it and so you could be asking yourself and should you get a better job that would help you or should you sell something and raise the cash that you need that way that's a good idea or did you want to ask for some sort of gift or loan from a friend or a relative. Well, that's all possible, and that could be under the influence of the sun in Taurus, because Taurus rules the traditional second house of how you make your money and what you spend it on or invest it in. Or you might be thinking to yourself, well, should I finance what I want? In other words, should you borrow money or could you would you consider going into debt or could there be some money from an inheritance or um, an income tax refund or increased insurance proceeds or some sort of grant or could you perhaps borrow from yourself in other words from your own pension fund or retirement account to pay for something well that could be the effect since it involves financing or using other financial resources other than your own, it could involve the uh, full moon in Scorpio. Both of the lights were well aspected. The full moon in Scorpio was being tried by Neptune in Pisces, and the sun in Taurus was being tried by Pluto in Capricorn. So no matter which way you decide to go, as you are contemplating uh, something that is going to involve your finances, and it could possibly involve a move, you can be on the brink of uh, trying to figure out how to pay for it. And yet, at the same time, you will have to consider things that are beyond your control. There could be changes in management at work. There could be changes in policies made by government agencies or even by large corporations, and that could affect you in one way or another. Or there could be legal changes uh, in the law or revisions of legal changes or changes in partnerships and that could affect you as well. So there are things that even are not in your control that you have to consider. And in fact, have you ever wondered why two people who are both born under the same sun sign could be so different? The answer to that question has to do with the way uh, the sun signs are set up in a traditional chart. First of all, a chart is in a circle, and there's 360 degrees in a circle, and there are 12 sun, sun signs or constellations in the heavens. So uh, theoretically, each of the 12 sun signs is supposed to be made up of 30 degrees. And there are four elements, fire, air, earth, and water. And among these four elements, each element has three sun signs involved, and three times four is 12. But inside of a sun sign, 
there's another division going on, and that explains the difference in a lot of people who are both have the same sun signs. And that is because uh, included in that 30 degrees of one sun sign, let's say Scorpio, where the full moon was yesterday, that 30 degrees of the sign is further divided or sub-ruled by three different decans, which are all 10 degrees uh, uh, involved. Uh, they add up to 10 degrees each, and that's the 30 degrees in the sign. And so the formula for figuring out what the sub-ruler is, is that the first 10 degrees of a sign are always sub-ruled by the ruler of the sign. So in Scorpio's case, that would be Mars and Pluto. Those are the rulers. The second 10 degrees, or the second decan, are sub-ruled by the next following, in this case, water sign, and that would be Pisces. So the second 10 degrees are sub-ruled by Pisces, whose ruler is Neptune. And the third 10 degrees, or the third decan, which is where the full moon was yesterday, is sub-ruled by the next following water sign, which is Cancer. And Cancer is ruled by the moon, and the full moon was exactly at 20 degrees of Scorpio, which is the beginning of the decan that is ruled by Cancer and the moon. So it's a much stronger full moon in Cancer than it appears to be. The same thing with Taurus. The first decan of Taurus is ruled by its own ruler, or sub-ruled by its own ruler, Venus. The second is sub-ruled by the next following Earth sign, Virgo, which is sub-ruled by Mercury. And the third decan of Taurus, where the sun is right now, is sub-ruled by the next following Earth sign, which is Capricorn. And so that sun at 20 degrees of Taurus is actually entering the decan that is sub-ruled by Capricorn, and Pluto trines that sun in Taurus. So we have two very strong lights that are opposing each other under the full moon in Scorpio, the sun in Taurus and the moon in Scorpio. And so it simply means that there certainly are different ways of you getting your hands on more money right now, and you have to consider what is best for your financial situation. But that doesn't mean that you can't succeed. It means that you, I think that none of us have, are quite ready to take the next step because we may not be sure of how we're going to pay for it. Because when the sun and the moon are either opposing or squaring each other, there can be a great deal of indecision and confusion. So we're on the brink of change, but not quite there yet. What does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, I think that you're going to get some sudden news that you will have to respond to rather quickly. And that is because Venus, Uranus, and Mercury are all in your sun sign. And Mercury and Uranus, that planet of sudden surprising change, are conjuncting each other closely. And they're, all three of those planets are being tried by Saturn in Sagittarius. Uranus and Saturn are at exactly the same degree, the 27th degree. And 27 is a number that reduces to 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9. And 9 is a finishing number. So I think you're going to get some sudden news, Aries, about something that's got to be finished up. And that can be where you are. In other words, you can be on the brink of change, but something's got to get finished first, or you have to tie it up. Or it can be that you get some urgent message about a new start, but you can't quite do that until you finish something up first. And so I think that you're going to have to pay attention to something that's already going on in your life and clear that out before you can start something new. And it's a little bit urgent. I think you want to start something new rather urgently. So I hope that you finish things up first. All right, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, the sun is in your sign, which is wonderful, and it is being trined by Pluto in Capricorn. And the sun is exactly at 20 degrees, and that is the beginning of the third decan in your sign, which is subruled by Capricorn. So you might really have your mind on your long-term security, which is what Capricorn rules. And that means you may think about getting a better job because then you could contribute more to your retirement plan. 
or it may be that you could be wanting to start something up of your own behind the scenes because your ruler Venus is in Aries right behind your sun sign and it is well aspected and so you could be on the verge or on the brink of starting up something that could make you a little bit more money on the side and that could help your long-term security too. The one thing that I strongly advise you not to do, Taurus, is don't finance anything right now. Figure out a way to pay for it yourself. And that is because that full moon in Scorpio is so strongly opposing the sun in your sign. And Scorpio does rule credit and debt and financing. So I don't think you're going to get financing, but if you do, it will cost you an arm and a leg and it won't be worth it. So if you can sell something instead and raise the cash, that would be a better idea. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, Mars is in your sign and it is trining Jupiter in Libra. And so that simply means that, oh boy, you could be busy right now because Mars is a very energetic planet. But it's a little bit better for you since you could be under pressure right now or have a sense of urgency or even be hypercritical and somewhat impatient. It would be better if you could let other people do your talking for you because they are not under the same pressure that you are and therefore maybe they could be a little more successful in making your points for you. So I hope you consider that. But you at the same time really have to keep your back to the wall and watch out for treachery because Saturn is opposing that Mars and Neptune, a rather nebulous planet in Pisces is squaring Mars and squaring that Saturn. So there is treachery underway somewhere around you, Gemini, and that's why you have to be really, really patient and let other people do your talking for you. There's also a legal matter that needs to be cleared up, and no matter how hard you push on it, that's not going to help because it has to simply sort of go through the right channels, and then I think it will work out all right for you. But Jupiter doesn't go direct until June, so you might have to wait another month or two. But in the meantime, you're in danger. And that is why you have to be very, very careful and uh, step back right now and uh, just pause and uh, wait for things to, uh, wait for things to, the pressure to ease up a little bit because if you overreact right now, you will really regret it. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this full moon in Scorpio yesterday is going to do you a world of good because it trines your sun and it was at the degree, the 20th degree of Scorpio, which is the beginning of the third decan uh, and it, which is subruled by your sign. And then the moon was there. And so I definitely think since Scorpio is a fi fixed financial sign that there is some money coming to you, Cancer. And that can allow you to make a move or to redecorate or remodel uh, your home or to help out a family member. And so that is gonna be good for you. So somewhere there is some money. It might come through an inheritance or insurance proceeds or a grant or some sort of gift that could just come your way and allow you to take that next step and no longer be on the brink, but certainly be making some sort of financial commitment that can be important to you and your family. So I think that that's gonna work out really well for you. The money's there, Cancer. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when it, you could be very successful doing something new, but it won't involve getting your hands on money. And I urge you to stay away from all financial commitments right now. And that is because that powerful sun in Taurus is squaring your sun sign and that equally powerful or even more powerful full moon in Scorpio yesterday was also squaring your sun sign. And these are the two fixed financial signs. So there isn't a financial problem that you can solve right now. And I sure wouldn't jump into one either, Leo. So forget that. However, you have wonderful planets trining your sun, but they involve going into action or doing things that you can be very successful at. Because Venus, Mercury, and Uranus and Aries are trining your sun, so there can be 
be some surprising message about some sort of new start that would be appealing to you and would benefit you. So keep your eyes and ears open, Leo. And then Saturn in Sagittarius is also trining your sun, which means you can't get away from having to do things sort of the old tried and true way. But even if you have to make people happy that don't want change right now, you can still join up with other people who are interested in change and in the future. So if you go into action and do things, you're going to be just fine and you will be successful. But if you do anything financial or even attempt it, you are not going to succeed. You will run into a brick wall and you'll get hurt. So try to stay away from financial matters right now and just ease up on them if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when you can be very pleased with financial matters. And that is because the sun in Taurus is trining your sun along with Pluto in Capricorn, but also the full moon yesterday in Scorpio was sextiling your sun. So both of the lights are in harmonious aspect to your sun sign, and that simply means you can be very satisfied with your financial situations right now and you could be somewhat surprised and pleased that one of your investments is worth more than you thought it would be and if there is the possibility that you will be getting more money from it because of that reason so that's all to the good but you have to be really quiet about that remember scorpio rules secrecy and it would be good if you kept your good fortune to yourself virgo because mars in gemini is squaring your sun Saturn in Sagittarius is squaring your sun, and Neptune in Pisces is opposing your sun sign. For you, just as with for Gemini, there is treachery around, particularly uh, involving jealous people, people who are jealous of you, or people who want to have things remain exactly the same, so they don't want you to get ahead of them, they'd rather keep you down and that would give them a sense of power. And so you do have to put up with certain challenges right now that are mean-spirited. But if you withdraw from that as much as possible and just concentrate on your own good fortune very, very quietly, that could make you happy. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time when I think that you are going to have to redo something and yet you too can be on the brink of some sort of move or change in your life. And it could be a little bit up in the air. It might already have begun in one way or another. But there are five planets and cardinal signs in a harsh T-cross right now, and that means that Jupiter in your sign, which is retrograde, is being overpowered by Venus and Mercury and Uranus in Aries. So somebody else wants to have everything their own way and they're in a good mood. They think they can get it. So you have to cautiously step back and think over any agreements that you're involved with, Libra, because I don't think that they're fair and balanced and you'd better look things over again, particularly if they involve finance finances in any way because Pluto in Capricorn is squaring the planets in Aries and Jupiter in your sign. The good news is that that full moon yesterday in Scorpio was right ahead of your sun sign so you may be able to see where there can be some extra money available for you to make some sort of uh, new beginning or for you to simply um, stabilize your own financial situation. I think that is possible right now. But on the other hand, if you're about to sign any kind of a contract, I would not do that right now. Because, you know, people want to jump into things. The sign of Aries is very strong right now. And so it rules new beginnings. It sure doesn't rule endings. And so if you jumped into something, how, how are you going to get out of it, Libra? You have to do a little more thinking about things before you sign anything, so I hope you do that. But there is going to be some more money available. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this full moon was wonderful for you because it simply means there's a lot of light on you, and because it was entering the third decan of your sign, which is subruled by Cancer, and the moon, it simply means that I think you've cut your mind on a move. 
uh, Scorpio, or a remodeling of your own home, or some sort of improvement, or of you could be wanting to help a family member with something like that. And I think that there is the possibility if you sold a piece of property, yes, you'd be able to afford another one. So I don't think that you're necessarily going to have financial difficulties right now. I think maybe if you're on the verge of deciding about some sort of a move that you can afford it, which is great. If you had to sell other investments right now, that is what could help you pay for a move as well and that would give you ready cash and then you wouldn't have to borrow anything and so remember that anytime something is financed there's always an interest charge involved and that is an extra cost so you should really think over the money and think of what else you want to do with your assets and if you needed to sell some that would be a good way to afford something uh, new instead okay what does it mean to a Sagittarian well Sagittarius this is a time when you could be yearning to start something new, but you really do have to tie up some sort of loose end before you can start something new and really get involved with it. And that loose end could involve your finances. And that is because the full moon yesterday in Scorpio was right behind your sun sign. So there's a lot of light in the background of your life, Sagittarius. There are other people that can see what your financial situation is as well. And I think that you will have to sort of clear up something, perhaps a debt or a loan, or uh, if you want to make some sort of move, and even if you wanted to finance it, and you may be investigating the buying and selling of something right now, or the financing of something, but still, it, you know, you'd have to work on that a little bit and get that straightened out behind the scenes first before you can go in a new direction. But So I think you've got your mind on money right now, Sagittarius. And I think that you can get help with whatever finances, financial situation you're in. And so I would go and, and try to get some help with that. If you need it, Sagittarius, this is a good time for you to do that. And it may take you until at least the end of the year to uh, really get your finances in the right shape. So you could be on the brink of something, but it might take you just a little longer before you get everything cleared to your satisfaction so that you can move forward. And that's because Saturn will leave your sun sign uh, on December 20th. And so you're looking at good things next year, but you still have to finish up something this year. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a very good full moon for you because the full moon in Scorpio is sextiling Pluto in your own sign, and Pluto is one of Scorpio's rulers. And the sun in Taurus is trining your sun sign right now where you have Pluto. So the lights are with you, Capricorn, and that simply means that if you have your mind on how you're going to, if you're asking yourself how are you going to pay for some sort of move, or if you're contemplating a career change, or if you are uh, wanting to finance something, I think that you are not going to have to worry too much about that because the nature of a Capricorn is to be sort of slow and methodical and very security prone. So you probably already have enough money or you've got your budget already figured out, Capricorn. And you certainly know if you can afford something or if you can afford to make any kind of a move. And you probably can. It looks like the lights are with you. So it could be that you're looking at some sort of change or a remodeling in the home or a move. And it could be affordable for you, Capricorn, so you may as well go ahead and pursue that. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, just like Leo, you can be very successful, well, particularly at uh, working on new things or on communicating with other people or forming successful partnerships, but you really have to stay away from anything financial right now. And that is because the sun in Taurus is squaring your sun and that full moon in Scorpio was also squaring your sun. And those are the two fixed financial signs that hold the lights right now. And they are in very harsh aspect to your sign. 
So if you were going to get involved in any kind of financial negotiation, it would cost you more than it's worth, so don't do it. Or it could simply be something that is, uh, would turn out to be somewhat regrettable in one way or another. So the timing, even if you've got your eye on something you really want, Aquarius, the timing is not good to handle the financial side of that. But you can talk to people, you can make deals, you can form partnerships because Mars in Gemini is trining your sun and so is Jupiter in Libra. So talking about things and communicating and even uh, making plans, that's all right. But uh, really coming up with the money right now or talking about a financial deal, don't do it, Aquarius because it would be way too expensive and you would be sorry. Just wait. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when you have to be extra careful about people who can be jealous of you because Mars in Gemini is squaring your sun sign and that means that there can be people around that simply want to tell you a lot of malicious gossip and I hope you don't listen to them Pisces and Saturn in Sagittarius is also squaring your sun which means you still have to follow along and do everything by the book because other people are insisting upon that and so there could be treachery around but it doesn't have anything to do with money. It has more to do with relationships because yesterday's full moon in Scorpio was wonderful for you, Pisces, because it trined your sun. And the sun in Taurus is sextiling your sun. So the lights in the fixed financial signs are very harmonious to your sun sign right now, Pisces. And that is why I think there can be some more money coming your way. Or if you're thinking of making a move or remodeling your home, or doing something uh, for the family, I think there will be some money around for that. Or there could be money coming from a family member, and that would be just great. But you really might have some people around in your vicinity who are not really your best friends and don't have your best interests at heart, and you need to turn your back on them and walk away, Pisces, and keep working hard, because I think you've got the right goals in mind. So don't let yourself be distracted by people who are really your enemies, even if they're pretending to be your friends. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see the show anytime you want by subscribing to it on our website, starborninstitute.org.